Hello, my name is Paulina Varis and uh, I'm a painter from Finland. When I thought of a place for a residency, I wanted it to be something, a place where I could find a peaceful surroundings for letting my thoughts run free and developing some new ideas. And uh, I'd been in Iceland a couple of times before, so I knew that I could find it here, the piece for concentrating on my work. And that's why I decided to apply to Fish Factory. So I didn't have any precise plan what I would do when I come here, but I guess I just wanted to uh, observe the surroundings and the people living here and see what I would come up with just observing those. And I wanted to collect some material, new material, and uh, maybe develop new ideas and start working with those. So, especially uh, during the first week, I was walking around a lot. I was walking at the hills behind the village and uh, walking around the village and at the shore. And uh, I also went jogging a few times a week in the mornings and the village is really quiet so I didn't meet many people here uh, during my walks and that made me think of emptiness like uh, the word emptiness just what it means uh, when I just saw all these well-kept houses and cars uh, in front of them and the playgrounds and uh, it also made me uh, compare the word empty, the definition of the word empty um, when thinking of it as being alone in the middle of the nature or being alone in the middle of uh, human-made surroundings like the village. And uh, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. I mean, do we even call the nature empty or what does the word mean in the end? How do we define it? So, like I told, I didn't really uh, pump into so many people while my walks and my joggings, but the people who were always there were the grass cu cutters, the people cu uh, cutting the grass. And uh, um, uh, the grass cutters had these huge bags uh, with them uh, full of grass, which they've just cut, or full of the grass mattresses that they were going to put on the ground. And when I started to look at the bags, they left them there for a couple of days, just without doing anything. And I looked at them and they just suddenly seemed so unconnected and uh, odd in a way there, like just besides the road without any people or workers around them. So then I started to work with the two paintings uh, of the grass bags. Uh, then after two weeks that I'd been here, I uh, uh, bought some fresh fish from a local fisherman who I was heard is always selling fish here in the fish factory where he's also working a couple of times a month. And uh, yes, I went to buy the fish and just besides the door, there was this big container of, uh, of the leftovers of the fish he had cut. And I was looking at them and somehow the side was kind of striking, even though it was just this everyday case that there's fish that the fisherman has cut and they're just there. But, but just the, this repetition of the empty eyes and the, the patterns that they would the fishes are forming when they were there. Um, it was like interesting, really interesting. And I, so I started to draw the fishes. I'm really happy that I <coughs> got to work here at the fish factory. And I've developed some new ideas here, which I will continue developing when I get back home. I'm really curious and excited to see where they take me, also allowing the experiences and the memories that I will have from here to like uh, 
become further integrated to my work. And yes, I've been really happy about the opportunity to work here at the fish factory.